I'm about to cover what I believe is the easiest form of passive income. In fact, in the last year, I've made $363,024 selling mostly passively from digital products like ebooks, memberships, courses, and more. There are so many reasons why I think digital products make for the easiest form of passive income. For example, you don't need product samples, there's no shipping costs, and you make the product one time and you can sell it again and again and again. Not to mention the profit margins are 80 to 90% plus and the list goes on. I'm going to cover different types of digital products, how much you can make from selling them, how to sell digital products, and what platform I use to sell my digital products on. If you're new here, hi, I'm Molly. I started as a broke college dropout with just 81 cents to my name, this was my car, and I leveraged that into a multiple six-figure per year photography studio. Then I started creating digital information products for other photographers, and I grew that into a $2 million per year online education company. And now I help content creators just like you to monetize monetize your content with digital information products so you can help your following on a deeper level and make a full-time living doing what you love. Now, when I first started selling digital products in 2014, I started with what I think is one of the easiest digital products, and that is eBooks. In fact, that's what I recommend to all of my beginner students as well. They're quick, easy, and free to make, not to mention they're easier to sell because of the lower price point being about $99 or less per ebook. Now, one of the very first ebooks I made was called Model Call. In over about a four year period, we did over 500 thousand dollars in sales from that ebook and that ebook was priced around 49 to 59 dollars and that's with no paid advertising now that is the power of solving a powerful problem for your followers and i also created a productivity ebook and an email marketing ebook as well so why did i create so many ebooks well i knew the power and i knew how to sell them so i knew that i could duplicate that success over and over again and i did just that now once i had those selling people started asking me about templates. So I decided to create some digital templates for sale. Now I had to use Photoshop because this was back in the day and we did not have Canva and I was making these templates for photographers and Photoshop was their software of choice. Here's a photo of one of the first template packs that I ever made. Now, once I sold some of those, I discovered another type of digital product called an online course. Now, online courses take more work and more time to create. However, you're helping your followers solve an even bigger and deeper problem. So you're able to price them at a premium price, somewhere between $297 and $1,997 or more. Now, even though they're more work to make, it is definitely worth the effort, especially because of the premium price point, because that is how I was able to scale my business. Of course, selling something for $1,997 is going to be a lot easier to reach that seven figure mark than selling an ebook for 49 bucks. But that is still a great way to get started. But I also wanted to share with you my journey with online courses so that you know when you're ready, you can scale with an online course and really hit the six or seven figure numbers. And of course, here's proof of one of the first online courses I ever made. Yes, you can laugh. Listen, I was just starting out. We didn't have cool stuff like system.io or Canva, so cut me some slack. <laughs> Now, after launching several online courses and doing well over $8 million in sales, I decided to launch a new course called Profitable Courses. And in the last couple of years, I've enrolled 538 students for around $1,997 each, which comes out to around just over $1 million in revenue. Now, if I had sold that same amount of a $49 ebook, I would have $26,000 instead of just over $1 million in revenue. Now, of course, I still think think an ebook is the best one to start with. It's easier to sell. You're going to build your confidence with more sales. But I just want to show you the power of scaling with a premium priced online course. Now, most recently, I decided to start an online membership and go against what everyone else was telling me. They were telling me it's so hard. It's hard to sell. Nobody wants to buy memberships anymore, blah, blah, blah. But I knew that the materials I wanted to teach would be best taught inside of a membership because it wasn't something where like you reach the finish line of growing your following or you reach the finish line of growing your email list, right? There's always more followers to be gained. There's always more email subscribers to be gained. There's always more sales to be made. And there's all 
always new strategies that I'm testing and then the ones that work I share with my members. So I knew that this content would be best inside of a membership. And so I did go ahead and created it and I called it Freedom Creator Club. So far I've enrolled 64 students at $294 per year and I've enrolled 58 students at $49 per month. So that's a total of $21,000 cash up front, but that does not include the recurring payments from monthly and from yearly. And we're doing about a few thousand dollars every single month in recurring revenue from this membership and it only continues to grow. And the best part is every single month, I'm not starting my business over at zero sales. I know that I have that nice cushion that I'm starting with every single month. Now memberships might not seem as exciting as an ebook or a course, but I'm telling you the longer you have them and the more students you enroll, the more exciting they get because of that recurring revenue. Now those are just four of the 54 different types of digital products that are out there. So if you want the full list of 54 different types of digital products completely for free, go in the description below this video and download my free PDF now. Now that we've gone over some different types of digital products and different ideas for digital products, let's talk about how to sell these digital products. Now I know there are tons of different videos out there on the web with different ideas of how to sell digital products. So you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed at this point. So I'm here to deliver some happy news for you, I have one three-part framework that I'm going to share with you so that you can learn once and for all how to sell your digital products online by following this simple yet effective three-part framework. Now, serious warning, this is not a get rich quick. You're not going to make money tomorrow and you are going to have to put in the work up front. But what I'm about to share with you is going to make you that real money, okay? What I'm about to share with you is going to help you truly make enough to do your content creation or your business full time. This this three-part framework has been working for me since 2014. It is truly tested, works for me and my students, and can work for you as well. And if you're willing to put in that work up front for about one to three months, you can truly start living that passive income life and make a full-time living doing what you love so it is so beyond worth it. Now, I just want to show you guys the proof of what happens when you put that work in up front and the benefits you can reap once you get those passive sales flowing. Now, this is me sipping coffee in the Netherlands with my cousin. Here's me getting ready to take a bath that my butler drew for me. Yes, a butler. <laughs> <laughs> that I had on texting speed dial at an all-inclusive resort in Mexico that my husband and I went to. And here's me getting ready to speak on stage. I've spoken at conferences all around the US. And here's me and my husband Aaron flying first class for the very first time. And here's a screenshot of my favorite thing ever when I paid off all of my student loans and my husband's student loans. And here's me horseback riding in Los Angeles with my mom and my aunt. And here's me standing in front of my second two comma club award Award that I received for earning over $1 million with a digital product. And of course, the best part is helping all of my students make lots of money along the way because we all know that money equals freedom. And these are just a few samples of the things I've been able to do because of the foundations of passive income that I've built. I've been to over 28 countries. So guys, I'm not sharing this to brag. I truly want to show you that this is possible. You can do this. You're not going to have these results tomorrow. You're not going to have these results in even five days. But if you put in the foundations of this work, you can reap the benefits in just a few months. Okay, so now really decide if this is what you want, because I'm here to tell you that it is possible and you do deserve it. Okay, here's the simple yet effective three-part framework for selling digital product. Number one, grow a following. Number two, move those followers to email list subscribers. And number three, find a platform to sell on that you own and you're not going to have to give up listing fees and seller fees like something like Etsy. I'm going to share with you guys the exact platform that I use and recommend. And really quickly, before we go into more details on the three-part framework, I want to share with you guys that growing an email list is 40 times more effective at making sales than social media. So please go in the description below and download my totally free funnel template that I've created just for you so you can offer your followers a freebie in exchange for their email to get them on your email list. Okay, so growing a following. How did I do this? With my very first online education company for photographers, I started with blogging and Pinterest. Point blank, I already had a lot of experience with blogging because of my photo business. That's how a lot of photographers get more clients is through blogging. And the whole photo community in general was really about blogging when I started in 2014. And then 
Pinterest came out on the scene, it was pretty big and I was able to use that to generate traffic to my blog. Now things are a bit different today, just like they always change, ebb and flow with social media. So for this business, I decided to grow my following on YouTube and a little bit on Instagram, but YouTube is my main source. Now, how did I do this? And I know everyone out there is like, pick a niche, post consistent content, because that's the stuff that's easy to share on video. But the truth is, is that there is a lot of work that goes into building a following, especially on YouTube. But really what you need to do is, you don't have to do exactly what I did. You just need to choose one to two social media platforms to post on. So pick one that you like, pick one that you're gonna enjoy posting on. And yes, you do need to find a niche, but I don't think you need to find your niche before you start posting. If you're not sure what your niche is, just start creating content around things that you like and see what resonates. And then the content that takes off, you can make more content like that and that will inevitably help you find your niche. And of course you do want to post consistently, but I'll give you guys a really quick tip here. This works for any type of social media. It could be Instagram, it could be TikTok, it could be YouTube. Okay, I started creating videos, just creating whatever I wanted, and my channel grew little by little. But once I took the time to really research the posts that were doing well within my niche on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, and then model those topics, see how they were delivering that video, what topics were they covering, who are they speaking to, and really model what has already been proven to work, that is when my accounts exploded. On TikTok, I was able to go from about 200 8,000 in just a couple of months by using the search feature and searching for videos on topics in my niche, seeing their video delivery pacing, what their topic was about, what the comments were saying, and really making my own content that was modeling that, but still unique because I knew that that was proven to do well. So you don't have to start from scratch. In fact, I'm telling you all those influencers with hundreds of thousands or millions of followers, they are using this technique of modeling. Okay. Okay, so number two is to grow an email list. This one, in my opinion, is pretty easy. What you need to do is, of course, grow that following and then offer them a freebie of something that they're going to want, like a free ebook or a free checklist or a free template, something that they're gonna want and is going to help them, but also something that's going to attract to you the right ideal clients that you want. And that's exactly why I created my free freebie share funnel, <laughs> say that 10 times fast. So if you go in the description below this video, you can download a totally done for you funnel that's gonna help you to move your followers to email subscribers. Now, why am I offering this as a freebie? Number one, it's gonna help you. Number two, I know you're gonna make a lot more sales if you have email subscribers. And number three, I know that I'm gonna attract my ideal clients who are content creators because I'm telling you that this funnel is gonna help you move your followers to email subscribers. So what must you have in order to think this freebie is for you? Followers, AKA, you're most likely a content creator. And number three is you're gonna need a platform to sell with. Now, I recommend system.io. As promised, there is a link to a totally free account for you below this video. And I use this for everything in my business. I use this for website hosting, blog hosting, email marketing, automated systems, funnels, checkout pages, hosting my digital products. It is literally an all-in-one tool and you can have a totally free account for up to 2,000 email subscribers. Now I have well over 2,000 email subscribers, so I pay for their most expensive account, which drum roll is still only $99 a month and comes with every everything totally unlimited. So to sum this up, I grow a following, I move them to email subscribers, I use system.io to host and sell through email marketing to my existing email subscribers. And yes, it really can be that easy. You can even set up automations like I have where when someone joins my email list, I have four months of content that goes between nurturing and selling that gets my digital products in front of my followers. Now that you know different types of digital products and how I sell them, you might be wanting to learn my exact strategy that helped me earn over $8 million in digital product sales to date. But how do you do that? Well, it all starts with watching this video next here because when you pair what you just learned with what's in this video, it's gonna be so much more powerful. See you in the next video.